Hey guys, Avery here. Uh, I want to make a quick update video on this. So, uh, YGO Omega, if you didn't see my video from the other day, it doesn't matter because it's going to be deleted by now. But basically, I'd uploaded a video the other day uh, talking about how YGO Omega is a cool simulator. You should download it, give it a shot. I was genuinely having some fun with it. And what I'm assuming is one of my subscribers commented on that video and said, hey, YGO Omega is actually a Bitcoin mining tool. And I was like, well, what, what are you talking about? How do you know? And the person replied by saying that the developer who made YGO Omega also made a program called Tordov, which apparently is an offshoot of the original YGO Pro. And for those of you who don't know, YGO Pro was another Yu-Gi-Oh! simulator um, from YGO Pro. We also got YGO Pro Percy. Once YGO Pro was no longer updated, they, I guess, remade it, called it Percy. Then I think like Percy stopped being supported, and then I guess they moved on to now YGO Omega. Um, as you know, I've been playing on uh, EDO Pro, otherwise known as Project Ignis. Um, so as far as I know, those developers aren't the same people. I would assume not since um, EDO Pro just has a totally different layout. EDO Pro has been mentioned in like hints and tips and stuff and like the, the pregame lobbies and things. But I'm assuming that they're different people, um, or at least they function differently. But the person said in the comment that Tordov was an offshoot of YGO Pro, and it was confirmed that the developer who made Tordov also made YGO Omega, and Tordov was a Bitcoin mining tool. And for those of you who don't know, Bitcoin mining tools essentially throttle your PC performance or whatever device it's on. It could be your phone, Android, whatever the case may be. It can throttle the performance of said device. And Obviously, you wouldn't want someone mining Bitcoin using your computer, you know, and that's essentially what these types of programs are, where they're like, hey, download this. It's a, you know, a free game, you go simulator, whatever. But then in the background, your PC performance is getting throttled because they're trying to make a quick buck off of Bitcoin. Now, I was just playing Persona 3 Reload earlier today, playing the brand new episode, I guess, DLC, and I was getting a lot of frame rate issues. And I've had frame rate issues in the past on Persona 3, but nothing like I was today. So am I saying it's because of YGO Omega? being a Bitcoin mining tool, I'm saying it's possible. Not that it's necessarily definite as to why, but when I did my own research into this, it was confirmed YGO Omega does mine for Bitcoin in the background. I'm not an expert on Bitcoin or anything. I think it's a huge waste of time, uh, way too volatile investment-wise. I don't fully understand how they can mine on your device, but I know when I was downloading it, it asked if I wanted to connect to both public and private networks when on the application. I picked just private. Maybe that has something to do with it being a Bitcoin mining tool, but regardless, I really apologize that I was praising this thing and had no idea it was actually a Bitcoin mining tool. So please, if you installed this on your device because of me, I'm really sorry, but I want to be transparent and let you know I found out that this information was accurate. Um, so I just want to bring that to your attention. Get this off of whatever device you have it on. Just stick with EDO Pro Dueling Nexus Dueling Book. Uh, it, one thing I'll give Master Duel, aka Master Shits, is that it's not a Bitcoin mining device. That is the one thing that Master Shits has going for it that obviously this terrible garbage ass uh, simulator does not have going for it. So again, I apologize, you guys. Um, just please don't play this. Don't download it. I'm about to uninstall it right now. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I got to get back to being in the bathroom because of my food poisoning because that's been fun. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.